In today's show, we will learn about the State Fair Rabbits hey, Vikes, I'm here with and Kansas Alexander. Medical Explorer Explore Roundup. Roundup. So what is it? We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. I'm Haley. And I'm Killian, and you're watching SVTV. The State Fair has been going on in Hutchison, and we've had some students competing there. So the State Fair, I'm judging rabbits here for Saturday and Sunday. Uh, first day on Saturday, the judge comes and judges it, but on, then on Sunday, I'm gonna be showing the rabbit for myself. We're doing this through a program called 4-H, uh, which is a, it's, it's a nationwide organization, but I got here through my, my county 4-H uh, program in Shawnee County. So this is a 4-H function event. So right now, um, this entire weekend from Friday to Sunday, we are showing um, rabbits and we are showing them for the rabbit. We are also doing rabbit showmanship. You have to make sure before a show that your rabbit is uh, well groomed, which means brushing them. Um, also, you gotta keep them, there's a, there's a weight limit for each different breed and you gotta feed them accordingly to make sure they're not overweight or underweight. All together, uh, just me and my brother uh, at State Fair, we have six, and just uh, me, I'm just showing uh, three of those. I think the program of 4-H is really great. I think it gives really great opportunities for different age groups. Out of all the rabbits in the competition, their rabbits place first. Now for your daily announcements. Picture day is today and tomorrow during your English class. Seniors, if you do not have an English class, please see Ms. Riley in C2 to schedule your picture. Seniors, remember, cap and gown orders are due Wednesday. If you're interested in being part of the Spirit Club, join the Schoology group. They also have short order forms. Pick them up in the front office or M14. Volunteers are needed on the last Monday of the month from 5.15 to 6.45 p.m. Questions, call Kim Atchison. Interact Club Sleep in a Box event is October 5th. Forms can be picked up in Mr. Khan's room. Order forms are due no later than September 27th. We'll be back with Killian after this quick commercial break. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. Oh, what am I doing? Well, I'm practicing for the lip sync battle on September 19th. If you'd like to sign up, you can sign up at E3, otherwise known as Chromie's room, but honestly, compared to me, you have no chance. I'll see you there. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Do you have school spirit? Do you want to show off your school spirit? Spirit Club is currently selling shirts. Orders are due by Wednesday, September 18th. Drop off your order form at the bank or Miss Geis' room in 14. St. Francis campus is starting a medical explorer class. Allie went to find out more information. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Mr. Alexander to talk about the Medical Explorer Roundup. So what is it? Uh, Medical Explorer is a way that you can explore the medical profession and see many aspects of it. It's sponsored by University of Kansas Health Systems at the St. Francis campus. It, is, um, it starts next Monday. Um, September 23rd. It's from 7 to 8.30. That's kind of the informational meeting. Um, and so I really, if you're interested in the medical profession at all, whether that be nurse, whether that be uh, surgical tech, whether that be a doctor, I really encourage you to go to this um, so you can get some information about the profession. They're going to have different doctors from different areas, um, professionals every single month. It's a, just a once a month commitment. Um, and I and I think that the first one is next 
the first one is next Monday and bring your parents so you can hear all about it or what the program entails. Then you can make a good decision on whether you want to go or not. It's on the meeting rooms one and two on the second floor. So when you go to the hospital, it's better to park in the parking garage and go clear up to the top and walk across the walkway because you'll be right on the second floor and right by the meeting room. So I encourage everybody that's in interested in a medical profession to go and look at this program because I think you'll get a lot of great information and it'll really tell you whether that's what you want to do or not. Awesome. If you're interested, make sure and check out the class. Now back to your anchors. It's for 14 to 20 year olds, so if you qualify, see Schoology for more information. Afterglow Committee is in need for parents for the Afterglow. There is a meeting scheduled September 23rd at Vikings Grill. Interact is collecting cans for an organization called CAT. Make sure to bring your cans. Now over to sports to see how our cross country team did. The boys varsity cross country team placed fourth at the Joe Scrag Invitational hosted by Topeka West. Congratulations to the Lady Vikes cross country team on their third place finish at Joe Scrag Cross Country Invitational. SHS Wrestling will be contesting a kickball classic on Sunday, September 29th at SMS Football Field. Registration deadline is September 20th. Now over to weather with Haley to find out how hot it is outside. This is your weather update. Today the high is 93 and it could get to about 90 tonight. Over the next three days, your weather will drop into the low 80s. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Tomorrow we'll have the full update with Josh Duncan. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Tomorrow we will have a new schedule story. Have a great Monday. <laughs>